Right then guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and welcome back to another player review in FIFA 15 Ultimate Team. Today we're going to be taking a look at the 80 rated in form Jeremy Menez. Obviously, um, you know, from the first team of the week, I was lucky enough to get him in a pack, guys. So he was just sitting in my club. I really didn't need to shell out any coins to pick this guy up off the market because obviously I packed him. So he was in my club anyway. Uh, so I thought, you know what, let's make a team, throw him in, make a review, let you guys know how I feel and what I think about him and tell you guys whether or not I think he is worth the coins now as of recording this video he does score for around the 25 to 30 thousand coin mark but seeing as he is a first week in form guys from you know judging from past fifas uh, his price will rise uh, in the future simply due to that fact now is he worth the coins and is he worth trying out well let me go through his pluses and minuses. You've seen his in-game stats, guys. If you want to know uh, what stat he has in a certain area, then all you have to do, guys, is rewind and pause on the stat that you want to look at. Now, his minuses I'll go through first. First off being his passing. His passing is absolutely dreadful. Obviously, if you use him as a striker, you're not going to be using passing that often. But I used him in every uh, position other than centre mid and centre defensive mid because, to be honest, guys, who's going to use him in those positions? other than for chemistry reasons on a very rare occasion center forward was the best position uh, he played for me striker his positioning wasn't the best and he just really he seemed wasted in that position exactly the same story guys as a center attack in midfielder he just seemed really wasted in that position but when I stuck him in the center forward position he always seemed to be in the places that I needed him to be and he always you know got involved in the games he didn't seem as much a, wa a waste in the centre forward position. Now, like I said, his passing is really bad. Anywhere I played him, his passing was really bad. He did manage to pick up one or two assists for me in about the 14 or 15 games that I did play. Uh, but when when that's compared to the amount of passes that I did make with him, then that is really, really bad. His aerial ability for me was really bad as well. He's not the tallest of players, so you shouldn't really expect his aerial ability to be good. Uh, and that's exactly right. His, his, his aerial ability for me anyway, guys, was really Really, really bad his long-range shooting as well was really bad for me um, I'm actually pleased to say that this year long shot long shots aren't exactly you know impossible to score you can score long shots it's just Jeremy Menez is not exactly the player that I would recommend you pick up to do that with his long-range shooting for me was absolutely dreadful and you know if it's this bad with me guys I can only say that it's going to be very very bad with you as well now his strength really isn't the best as well he was out muscled by nearly every defense that I tried to get past obviously his pace does help get past defenses but you need that little bit of strength strength as well just in case you come up against defenses that are fast enough to catch him um, but unfortunately from my experience then he, he really doesn't have that much strength and it is very easy uh, to muscle him off the ball and take the ball from him his weak foot was really bad as well I do believe he has four star on both skills and weak foot uh, but for me in game is weak foot it really did disappoint me anywhere from any distance and inside the box he did fail miserably for me when it came to using his weak foot so he is definitely uh, a one-footed player from my experience using him guys now moving over to his uh, his strengths as you can see on the screen guys right about now his pace is fantastic seeing as FIFA 15 is based a lot on pace and dribbling you want to get players especially attackers to have a lot of pace and dribbling and as you can see on the screen guys his cards are on the right hand side um, obviously he's got his non in form which is a right winger and his in form which is a center forward so that's obviously going to play a big role in his price um, and a lot of people are going to pick him up maybe for chemistry reasons uh, due to that position change uh, but like I was saying pace and dribbling is a major part in this year's ultimate team uh, and Menez's card has got those good stats in those areas you know 86 pace and 85 dribbling that's exactly what you want to see uh, and he feels like 86 pace you give this boy space and he is gone dribbling and ball control is awesome with him his finishing inside the box is fantastic his positioning was really good for me like I said earlier on, 
he was in the position that I needed him to be in most of the time and he made the runs that I needed him to make at the times that I needed him to make them the most which you know it, it made me enjoy him that much more and he's also got the four star skills so skillers out there will have a blast using him is he worth it in my opinion I gotta say yes now if you want to pick him up I'd recommend picking him up ASAP because like I've already mentioned he is a first week in form so chances are his price is going to rise I've given him an 8.4 out of 10 for me personally like I've already said he played best as a centre forward rather than a striker or a centre attacking midfielder so if you do manage to pick him up or decide to pick him up try him in a centre forward role um, because that's my opinion you know he plays best there he played best there for me so if you play like me and your play style is like mine then chances are he's going to play best for you in that position as well guys so that's going to wrap up this Info Menez review if you did enjoy and it did help you decide whether or not to buy him as always a like is greatly appreciated it really does help the channel uh, and also subscribe for more reviews to come in the future guys and as always from me please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys